guys, Rob here, and welcome back to Glidal Tech. A couple months ago, I built a mannequin torso using plastic bags and duct tape. Um, I basically wrapped myself. I wore a t-shirt, and then my brother Zeke helped me cover myself in plastic bag bags, and then just wrap myself in duct tape. Um, that was a fun day. Um, once we got that all done, I cut it off, and then I taped up the edges, stuffed it with, I stuffed it with, um, a wadded up newspaper, um, and that was really great. I really liked it, but that wasn't where the project was going to end. Um, the next part of the project was to get the lower half of the body, the legs section, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to be wrapping myself in plastic bags around my legs and then wrapping all that in duct tape. Um, once again, my brother Zeke is going to be helping me, so shout out to him. He has done an amazing job. Um, but yeah, I love it. Um, this was a great project to work on. Um, I'm not going to say too much because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to jump into the video, um, and here we go. Alrighty, here we go. Um, you see me, I've got the plastic bags on. This was very important. Um, I had to strip down to my underwear because I didn't want the pants getting in the way. Um, so sorry about that little underwear you see there. Um, but I covered myself in plastic bags because obviously I do not want um, duct tape getting on my skin because that would pull up a lot of hair and be very painful. Um, this was an interesting project. Um, my lower section got really, really tight uh, because of all the duct tape on there. Um, I also got really, really sweaty, and so um, be prepared for that. Um, overall, this took me maybe half an hour, closer to 45 minutes actually, to get the entirety of the lower section done. And so, I mean, yeah, that was, it was an interesting time. Uh, Zeke was a great help there. Um, you, it just, you, really, all the information I can, all the tips I can give you guys is to make sure you're fully, fully covered up with... Uh, plastic bags. You don't want any of your skin being exposed um, and being uh, being covered by duct tape because that would be a, that'd be painful. Um, try to keep your legs straight. I did not keep my legs as straight here as I would have liked, um, but oh well, that can't be helped at this point at least. Keeping your legs straight, you don't want it to, uh, don't want uh, your legs to be bent, unless of course you want a specific pose, then You'll have to stay in that one pose the entire time. Um, but like I said, I couldn't have done this without my brother Zeke. He was a great job of this entire thing. Uh, I did skip over the cutting sequence because, like I said, I was only in underwear underneath there. Uh, I just cut down both the sides, and so the front half and the back half were separated. And so that's what you're seeing me doing now is I'm taping the two halves back together. They went together pretty nicely. Um, I liked how it turned out. It was a good shape, and I stuffing it with um, newspaper was pretty easy. Um, you really want to make sure you get the tides, the sides taped up. That way they don't pop apart when you start stuffing them. I taped off the edges of the, uh, here you go. I taped the entire mannequin together. I didn't manage to, uh, what is it? I didn't manage to get footage of me doing that because my phone died, which is fun. Um, here's, this is the next day. I am, uh, stuffing myself up. Uh, well, I took out, I cut open the mannequin. I stuffed the that support bar you saw in there. I stuffed it. Um, in there and then covered it with uh, all of the uh, the paper that I took out to sturdy it back up again. Now this tape is a different color, but that's because I ran out of the flat gray tape um, and I couldn't go to Walmart at the time. I just really want to make sure it's all secure and that pipe isn't moving at all uh, anywhere. Yeah, you will have some things you'll need to stuff back in. To, it's things that went flat that you don't want to fix. It's really a do-as-you-go-along process. It's a step-by-step -step process, but I can't tell you everything you'll run into because it's it's duct tape. It's unpredictable when you're doing it in body shape. Now this here is a frame that I built to hold the PVC pipe up with. Uh, it's long in the front so that way it doesn't fall over. Um, you see me trying to put this thing on here. I'm trying to figure out what angle it should be at to twist it. This is where I left. I went to go get um, some wood pieces that I could stuff inside of the PVC pipe to kind of keep it more rigid and keep it from falling over. Um, Although if I were to do this again, I would probably use metal because uh, metal's a lot sturdier. Yeah, so it's me putting it back on there. It wasn't the sturdiest thing, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, I taped the head on there, and it looks pretty good. Um, I liked what it was doing. Um, as you can see here, the mannequin is really wobbling. And like I said, I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But yeah, there's the finished product. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I really enjoyed making this, and it was really cheap, too. It only cost me about $20, $25 at Walmart getting the duct tape. 
um, and then I stuffed it with um, ripped out pages of an old catalog. Um, I got about four of them for free. Uh, my church was throwing them away, and so I was able to take them home. Uh, I ripped them out, crumpled up, ripped out one page, crumpled up, put it in there, and did that over and over again until I got it stuffed full the way I wanted it to. Uh, it was really easy. It was just a bit time consuming and your hand cramps up a lot when you're ripping the pages out, crumpling it up, ripping the pages out, crumpling them up. It's over and over and over and over again. It took me, I think, two and a half, uh, no, 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 it was one and a half catalogs to get the entirety of the, the entirety of the legs filled. I think it took me maybe one catalog to get the torso filled, but it was, ooh, that was a lot of paper and a lot of crumpling. Um, anyway, if I were to do this project again, what would I do differently? Um, I would definitely build a rigid interior skeleton to the entire thing. Um, and that's exactly why you don't see the mannequin back here. As soon as the video ended, the PVC pipe that I was using to hold it up actually fell over and cracked. I had wood supports on the inside to help stabilize it, and those didn't break, but the PVC pipe did. It just broke as it bent over, and that's when I knew it wasn't going to work. The system I had, I would need a full interior skeleton that I could mount to an actual solid frame that wouldn't fall over. Um, and then I would have done it, but I didn't have the time, and my budget didn't allow for it um, at the moment. I... I already have a bunch of other things planned out, and I just I can't focus on that at the moment. Um, and so I, I got rid of the uh, the frame and the uh, the little stand I have out my shop because I'll use it for something in the future. Um, but the saddest part was I had to throw away the mannequin. Um, I had it before I made the frame. I had it just sitting in my closet, but I didn't have enough room in there. It was getting really crowded, and it was just laying there. I wasn't doing anything with it, and I didn't know when I'd be able to complete this project, build the actual frame. So I. I threw away the mannequin. Um, it is fairly cheap, like I said, to build the entire thing. And so if I ever get to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna reattempt this, I will rebuild the mannequin. And I can do it better then. I, I didn't really like how the neck sat. The arms were a bit uneven. Um, the legs were a bit uh, a bit off. I, I wish they were straighter as opposed to the bent they were. But um, a lot of things that I can improve if I ever do the mannequin again, which I will do it again. I just don't know when that's gonna be. Um, yeah, so that's what happened with the mannequin. I'd recommend if you're doing this yourself that you build a frame that is roughly the size of your body. That can be achieved using PVC pipe. If you get the right pipe, um, just build it in a rough uh, legs and chest and arms and even just put a spoke for the head and then do the same thing I did. Make the torso, cut it open, and then just put it around the frame. Stuff it, tape it closed. It's, the frame is built into the torso. Do the same with the legs. Once you take them off, tape them around the frame. Just get it all done that way, and if you do that, it would work out a lot better than if you tried to do it the way I did. Um, it's one of the reasons I'm here. I did something the way I thought it would work. It didn't work, and so I'm telling you guys that way if you do it, you can do it better. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I did with this project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I have been doing a lot of stuff on my channel recently. I have spent the last few weeks, and this is why I didn't post in so long, I have spent the last few weeks trying to manage school and work, and it has been a bear, but I've finally got it under a, a, a good schedule now that I can work with. Um, but I've also been working on my next big project, which is the Arrow Season 1 bow. I've been trying to build an Arrow costume since, well, the beginning of my channel, the very first video is me talking about the homemade costume I built. And I always wanted to go further than that. That was good for a homemade costume, but I always wanted an accurate version. And so that's what I'm building now, is I'm spending the time to find the pieces and get the, and spending the money to buy the accurate pieces. And if I don't have the money for it at the time, I just stop, I save up for it, and then I buy it when I finally have enough. And so that's what I've been doing. I just finished building the Arrow Season 1 bow. The bow he has in the first season of the TV show. I love its little put together look. Um, it looks like it had been hobbled together um, from materials that he found, and I absolutely love that look. And so I just finished constructing it. I have over nine hours of footage just to comb through of me just doing all the work. That, that's paint drying, that's finding the right pieces, that's putting all the pieces together, that's wood burning the symbols in. That's, I don't want to give away too much because that's all going to be in the, another video that should be coming up soon, hopefully the next video, but I can't guarantee that for sure. Um, but it was a wonderful project. I absolutely loved working on it. 
Um, but I've been working on that and I'm so excited to give that out to you guys. But something that I can give you guys now that I'm so excited for is my new logo for Glidal Tech. You may have seen that on my channel. It's a new logo that I've spent time designing. I love the way it works. I love the way it looks. And I'm going to be working on a new intro for that to my channel. I'm going to be using Blender. I, I don't know how to use it right now, but I'm going to be learning how to do that and making an intro, a 3D animated intro, and that's going to be so fun. But that's besides the point. I have t-shirts. You may be seeing me wearing this. Look, Glidal Tech. I love these. These are great t-shirts. This is really comfortable. I got it from a place called um, Threadless. My shop on Threadless is glidaltech.threadless.com. Link will be in the description. But there won't be t-shirts on there because I found another company that I want to be using for t-shirts. It You can get the t-shirts slightly cheaper, which is exactly why I'm, I'm going with them. And I want to make it cheaper for you guys and cheaper for me to produce. Um, and that's this side's going to work out great. It's called Teespring. Um, and I can get the t-shirts on there. They're great. And it's going to be very similar to this. I am going to lighten up the glidal. As you can see, the G in glidal is very, um, very dark and it blends into the shirt. Whereas the last few letters, the AL, is that pretty much pops. And so I'm going to make glidal all of this one color. Um, so that way, for the t-shirts, you'll be able to see it if you get one of the darker t-shirts. And it doesn't blend in as much. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, and those will be up in the shop very soon. Um, by the time this video is posted, you'll be able to go to the shop and see it on there. Um, but yeah, that is going to be great. My shop on Teespring is teespring.com slash glidaltech, I believe. Um, uh, if that's wrong, the link's going to be in the description. You'll be able to see it anyway. Um, but I'm so excited. I've got t-shirts out there. Um, the way the t-shirts are done, for example, the base price for a normal t-shirt is going to be $20. And so for $20, you guys are buying a t-shirt. You'll have to pay for tax and shipping, but that's... That's normal. The more t-shirts you buy, the less shipping will be relatively. Uh, but you guys know that. I'm not even going to bother with that. Um, t-shirts are going to be about 20 bucks, And what that 20 bucks is, is about $11 of that goes to Teespring. Eleven. It's actually closer to $12. $12 of that goes to Teespring, and they produce the shirt, they put the logo on it, and then they ship it to you. The remaining nine, eight, nine dollars of it go to me. They help support my channel because I have the stuff on Teespring. I get a small commission off of everything that it sells from my shop. And I absolutely love it. I'm going to be hopefully using this to help fund my projects that come on um, that I get, uh, that I want to do on the channel. I will fund the projects through um, revenue that comes from this, um, from these two shops, um, my Etsy store, uh, all sorts of stuff that I'm going to be funding my projects through. Um, hopefully expanding the world of Glidal Tech. Um, if you can't tell, I'm really excited. Uh, absolutely love it. Um, I did mention Threadless that I had t-shirts on there and I don't need more. Um, instead, Threadless is where you can buy things like water bottles, you can buy coffee mugs, you can buy travel mugs, you can buy a drawstring backpack, you can buy, um, you can buy a I said a mug, you can buy a notebook. Um, you can even buy throw pillows. This is a throw pillow that I have that's on my bed. Um, I can get this color, um, which is what outward facing on my bed. I can get this color off of Threadless with my logo on it and in the same size too. And I'm going to be ordering that sometime soon. So that way you walk into my room and you see, uh, if anyone walks into my room, they see um, a throw pillow and they say Glidal Tech on there. Um, that's just really exciting to me. I can't wait. Um, I'm going to be looking into that, but that'll be available in my shop. Um, like I said, all the links will be in the description. Teespring is for, uh, my t-shirts and then Threadless is for everything else that I'm selling, um, that I can't produce myself. Um, but then, like I said, Etsy shop, I have stuff in there. You guys know what's in my Etsy shop at this point. Um, but still check it out. I've got a lot of good stuff in there and I'm always adding items. Uh, it may not be very often, but I always add stuff in there every once in a while. Stuff that I think I'll sell. Um, but yeah, so I got those three shops that are going to be hopefully providing some sort of um, some sort of income that I can use to help fund my projects on the channel. Um, oh man, this is really exciting. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I couldn't do all of this without you guys being here, um, subscribing to the channel and liking my videos and whatnot. Um, thank you guys so much. Um, if you like this video, like I said, please leave a like. Um, it's always appreciated. And then if you are interested in what this channel has been doing um, in the past and going to be doing in the future, please subscribe. You can hit the little notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post a video. Um, for the most part, that's going to be every two weeks on a Sunday, usually closer to Sunday night based on my schedule. Um, if I have a video ready, I can probably post it closer to the afternoon, um, but it's it all depends on what things get done. 
Um, I know I was a bit behind and I didn't say anything about it. And so if you guys were worried, I'm sorry about that. But from now on, I do have an Instagram and a Facebook page that you guys can go visit where if I'm going to be late with the video, I will post an explanation so you guys know what's going to happen and hopefully know when I'm going to be posting the next video. Um, but all those links will be in the description. Every link that I talked about in the video will be in the description because it's so much easier than throwing them up on the screen. Um, Oh goodness, I, I think that's it I have all I have for the day. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment if you guys uh, like what I'm doing, have any ideas for what I should do in the future. I will definitely consider them when building up my schedule and my budget, whatnot. Uh, like I said, I need to budget everything out. And so if you want me to build something, let me know early on so that way I can start planning for it. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.